So for defense today, we've got Coach Grant here. We're going to be doing a four cone drill in regards to being a second baseman working on feet. So the four cones, you can see i got a target up on the wall over there. That's just going to give them some sort of uh, visual to turn, release, and make the throw. That's second base, that's the shortstop, whatever it may be. These four cones all indicate a specific movement. The first cone is just a routine double play ball at double play depth. When we're fielding it, staying low, working on our feed, nice and easy to the uh, middle infield. The second cone is we are going to cut around it just a little bit, cut around the ball, and then we're going to get our momentum into a two step feed towards the second base. The third cone here is where he's going to feel the ball and either do a drop step or a turn with his lower half and make the feet. The blue cone is a ball that it really kind of depends who's on base, what the situation is. It's a play where he's going to go to his left, feel the ball almost in the hole, plant, turn, and spin, and make that throw. Okay, so it really all depends on situation, who you're playing, who your middle infield is. I understand that. Typically, that's a ball that we probably just end up going to first base with since our momentum's taking us there, but it's creating athleticism, uh, which is what we want in our athletes. On these balls that we go to turn and throw, we want to make sure we stay nice, tucked, and compact. Uh, <clears throat> the wider we get with our arms and our legs, the slower we are when we go to turn, and we're going to lose feel for our release. So we want to keep our feet underneath us, stay tight, release that ball, and get a good accurate throw as close to that square as possible. We are going to be using a tennis ball today uh, for the sake of what you guys are going to be doing at home. Obviously, a baseball is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have a better feel on your throws. So, again, we'll be using a tennis ball. This is called the four cone double play infield exercise. Right there. Okay. The next one is he's just going to cut right outside the ball just a little bit to get his momentum. exercise we're going to be doing, you're going to need a much bigger distance. We call this the null on or nando throw. It's just an exercise to get comfortable with throwing at a, uh, an un unorthodox arm angle and throwing it over a greater distance. Again, creating athleticism, just trying to get comfortable from understanding that every throw is not going to be from the same traditional arm slot. So what we have, we have Coach Grant here. We're going to demonstrate it as righty and lefty. So Coach Grant is here. He's going to demonstrate as a righty. We're simply just going to start on our knees. Okay, and we're going to just simulate flipping a ground ball and throwing it from underneath. Uh, down at the very end, we've got a, a bunch of variety of different targets. Obviously, at home, I know it's going to be a different situation. We're going to aim for specific targets when we go to throw the ball. That's our first baseman, our middle infield, whatever the case may be. So we're taking the lower half out of it and strictly just working on our shoulder turns, tilts, and making good, accurate throws. Okay, so Coach Grant. 
Coach Grant's going for the bottom blue circle there. We'll kind of just go all the way around. Okay. Go for the yellow now. Go one more with Coach Grant. Okay. There's a bottom purple down over there. So now I'll demonstrate as a lefty. Again, even though it's targeted for, I guess, more middle infielders, court, uh, third baseman, it's an exercise that we all need to get comfortable with. Understanding whether it's outfield, first base, whatever the situation may be. I'm um, here. I'll start picking up a little bit of yellow circle at the middle row here. Not even close. Here. Pretty close. As you can see, one of the things you got to take account for is the tail on that ball from throwing from down, down under over a greater distance. It's going to cut tail a little bit more. All right, obviously I get it when you're on the major league field, 60-90s, it's going to be different where, you know, you've got to gauge that depending on who's over uh, playing those positions. Also understand that also means the first baseman has to know who's playing those positions and who's playing first base when you're going to throw the ball. This next exercise is for first baseman for defense. We are going to be using a, a bag, obviously you take down a book, a pillow, something that you need for uh, field awareness. This exercise is twofold. The first one is we're going to just be working on footwork. Simply shuffling on the bag, finding the bag, getting comfortable, understanding picking our feet up and moving them quickly. The second part is I'm going to be throwing the ball to Coach Grant over here and he's got to pick up when I'm about to throw it, extend out and go to pick that ball. All right, and I'm going to mix it up whether it's back hands, glove side, whatever the case may be. If you don't have someone to throw it, you can simply just go shuffle the bag Throw the ball off the wall and then go right into your, your, separa your separation off the bag. Great exercise for bag awareness. Obviously working on our pick hand-eye coordinations. It's a multi-facet uh, exercise for our first baseman. Alright, so Coach Grant's going to begin shuffling. I'm going to... Okay. As you can see, I'm trying to be sneaky when I go to throw the ball. For him to be quicker with finding that bag and getting off uh, on the throws. Okay, I'm gonna go again. You can see, like, I'm mixing it up. I'm trying to make him feel uncomfortable during the exercise. Okay, as you can see, he's working on those back ends. You can see his eyes and nose are staying behind his glove when he goes to pick it. Again, exercise for first baseman, quick, efficient, cardiovascular, footwork, glove, great exercise that you can do on your own or with a partner. Just make sure you are working on quick explosion off that bag when you realize when that ball is being delivered. So that is one of our defensive drills for the day. Kev, your picks were fucking money. <laughs> <laughs>